There are currently 38 senior citizens resident at the Sister Cecilia home, and today some of them spent the afternoon in the company of a group from Mercer University from Atlanta, Georgia. They come here on their own. I think this is the second or third trip. They're all students, some are students. We've got two professors here, right? Um, um, for example, um, how to avoid fall. When you reach a certain age, uh, after you're 70, 75, you've got a tendency to drop, right? And we sit here and um, just fall, fall down. And you have to know how to deal with situations. We have to know how to avoid situations like that. You know, and, and all this come into one, to our focus, so we could make, we could be, we become better professionals or better volunteers. That's the word, better volunteers in helping our seniors. And that's the whole ball game that we are trying to, 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 to contribute to, making sure that our seniors are well in the care of because this world is a wheel and one day you don't know where you and I may end up. The lessons and interaction are good for the senior citizens, but what you see happening here is also helping these eight students who are working towards a career in teaching and they're doing it through a program called Mercer on Mission, started 12 years ago. This year we've had over 200 students go all over the world. I am the director of this Mercer on Mission to Belize, and we have teacher education students with us. We have eight, four undergrad and four graduate students. And so what we're doing is, number one, we're having a cultural immersion. So we have fully immersed our students in the culture of Belize. And you name it, we've tried it, we have went beyond our um, what we know to enjoy Belize. The group spent two weeks in Seven Miles El Progreso in the Cayo District, a community with no electricity, and also in Hopkins, working along with teachers in several different schools. What we're noticing in the United States right now is a huge influx of immigrants. And one way for our teacher education students to be more prepared to teach our students, um, because keep in mind, when you teach if you have a classroom full of 18 students, you have a classroom full of 18 diverse students. So when they come down here to Belize or when they go to other countries, they get to explore other countries and it helps them respect other cultures a lot more. It helps them understand the different people that we live around and live with and they, they have learned so much of just to be um, culturally, more culturally responsive. This program has helped me a lot, just learning and being immersed in the culture. Um, working here and being able to volunteer and do this has been a lot of fun. It has helped me just grow and see what is a developing country and what is it doing and how we can learn from it ourselves. We have a lot of cultures coming into America right now and we're going to have students like this in our classrooms one day and so being able to teach them is what we want to do and be able to adapt and help them as well. So it's a win-win situation for all involved. The students go away with experiences which will help them in their chosen vocation. And these senior citizens get some attention, companionship and love. If you notice some of them are invited in here, maybe they might be able to do A, B, C, but we just, they are part of the whole parcel, they are part of the country, part of this whole organization. Without them we would not have been here. See, and there's a need, we have an international body outside, and there's a need why, why, why we have to look after seniors. You would be surprised to know how some people just take this opportunity, okay, there's a home here, I will make the first arrangement and disappear. Believe in me, and disappear, leaving their loved one behind. And then, yes, the government and those who are behind here, the officials, the volunteers have to take care of business because you can't just put them on the street. You know, I mean, they need the help. The students will be visiting schools and organizations across the country during their visit. Mike Rodon for News 5.